Good morning to all. Today we are moving to the 12th chapter and the name of the chapter is data handling. So first of all let me ask you what is the meaning of data? So have you heard about the term data? So what is the meaning of data? Data means information. Then what is data handling then? Data handling means it is recording and gathering information and presenting them in a meaningful manner that we call it as data handling. So what is data? Data means information. What is data handling? Data handling means recording and gathering this information and presenting them in a meaningful manner. So that is data handling. So let's see an example. So, in your textbook, page number 168, so see the first one. Here, you can see a group of data given. And here you can see two little girls. So, one is Annie and one is Winnie. So, they are twin sisters. So, what are they going to do is, on their birthday, they are planning to donate some items to poor children. So here you can see the different items. So this we can call it as data. So what all things are here? There are different things. There are pencils, there are pens, t-shirts, books, bags. There are different things. So what you need to do is you have to arrange them. So there are different things. So you have to count each of the item and you have to fill in the blanks. So what you need to do is you have to count each items and then you have to write it here. So let's start. So what is given first? Number of pencils. So here there are pencils. So how many pencils are there? So you need to count the number of pencils and then you have to write it down here. So let's just count how many pencils are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So how many are there? 12. So you can write it here 12. Okay. So see the next one. Number of pens. So what do you need to do? You need to count the pens. You have to count the number of pens. So just count and see how many are there. So how many pens are there? There are six. So here you can write six. So what is given next? Number of blankets. So just count and see how many blankets are there. So how many blankets are there? One, two, three, four, five. So there are five. So you can write it here, five. Then number of books. So how many books are there? One, two, three, four. So how many are there? Four. So you can write it here, four. So likewise, you have to count the number of school bags, then write in the box. Then number of t-shirts, you have to count and write. Number of trousers, you have to count and then you have to write. So this is called data handling. So with this information, you are recording and gathering this information and presenting them in a meaningful manner. So that is called data handling. So what is data? Data means information. Below that there is a question given. Share the ways in which you can help the poor children. So can you all think the ways in which we can help poor children? So the one way is that we can donate for their education. Then we can provide, we can support them by providing them the basic necessities like providing them books, clothes, etc. So these are some of the ways in which we can help poor children. Even you can also think about ways in which we can help poor children. Let's move to the next page, page number 169. So in 169, you can see a picture. First, what you need to do is you have to color this picture. You can color this picture beautifully. Then what is given? 
count and fill in the boxes. So here you can see different shapes. You can see rectangle, circle, square, triangles, etc. So you have to count them, count each of them and you have to fill in the box. So what is given first? Rectangles. So here you have to count the number of rectangles. So see how many are there? 1, 2, then 3, then this one, 4. So how many rectangles? 4. So you can write it here 4. Then triangles. You have to count the number of triangles. Then write it in the box. Then squares. So how many squares are there? You have 1, 2. So you can write here 2. So likewise you can count the number of circles. Then you can write in the box. So it is very important for us to go to school. So you all go to school every day. But some days you may be sick or some days you go with your parents for any functions like that. So you take leave during some days. So during that days in our school a list is prepared. Right. A list is prepared on each day about the number of students who are present, number of absentees etc. Right. So see here an example is shown here. Class 1 section A. Then date is also given. So number of students. In class 1 the total number of students are 30. Then number of students present that is 24. Number of absentees that is 6. So this is an example of data collection. This is an information. This tells us about the total number of students in a class. This tells us about the number of students present during that day. And it tells us about the number of students who were absent during that day. So this is a data collection. It gives you an information. So this is called data handling. Let's see the next one. Page number 170. Here you can see a little girl. Her name is Ramya. And it was her birthday. And she arranged all the leftover items. You can see the leftover items here. So what do you need to do here? You need to count and write their number in the boxes. So what all things are left over? There are soft drinks, birthday caps, canties. There are many items which are left over. So you have to count them and write their numbers in the box. So see the first one. Soft drink. Soft drink bottles. So how many soft drink bottles are left over? Can you just count and write? How many are there? There are six. So you can write it here. Six. Then birthday caps. So you all know birthday caps, right? So how many birthday caps are left? One, two, three, four. Four birthday caps. So you can write it here. Four. Then, canties. So how many canties are left? So just count and see how many canties are left. You can write it in the box. Then, cake slices. How many cake slices are left? Just see in the picture how many are there? Just one, right? So you can write there one. Then, what is given next? Balloons. So balloons are hanged there. So how many balloons are there left? Just count and write. Then gift boxes. So she, she got many gifts for her birthday. So how many gift boxes are there? Just count and write in the box. Then what is given? Cookie packets. So these are the cookie packets. Count it and write it down. So this is data handling. So we are collecting information and we are presenting them in a meaningful manner. So, activity for you, page number 171, see the question, Namik and his family went on a jungle safari and saw some animals. So, he can see the picture here. So, there are different animals. There are monkeys, lion, elephants, giraffes, etc. So, what do you need to do? 
you need to count and write them in the box. You have to count them and write their numbers in the box. Then next you can see Mary has to arrange blocks. Can you all see the blocks here? Have to count and write their numbers in the given boxes. So circles, rectangles, squares, triangles, all these blocks are here. So you have to count the number of circles, then you have to write in the box. Then count the number of rectangles. How many rectangles are here? Just count and write. Then squares. Then in the same way count the number of triangles. Then you can write it here. See the next one. Page number 172. Shobit's teacher asked him to interview six friends about the fruit they like. So the teacher asked Shobit to interview his six friends to know about their favorite fruit. So here you can see the data given here. Below that you can see different questions. So based on that you have to answer the following questions. So what is the first question? How many friends like mango? So from this you have to count how many friends like mango. So how many? Two of his friend. So you have to write there two. See the second one. Which is more popular? Orange or banana? So which one is more popular? Orange or banana? Most of his friends like orange. So which is popular? Orange. See the third one. How many friends like pear? So this is the fruit pear. So how many of his friends like that fruit? One, two, three, four. Four of his friends. So the answer is four. See the next one. How many more friends like apple than mango? How many more friends like apple than mango? So how many friends like mango? Two. How many friends like apple? One, two, three, four, five, six. So how many more friends like apple? Four. Right. Four more friends like apple than mango. So you can write there four. So both these activities that is in page number 171 and page number 172 you can do as an activity. Once you are done take a picture and you can send to Microsoft Teams. So I hope you all are clear with the chapter data handling. So it is nothing but what is data all about? It means information. And what is data handling? It means gathering information and presenting them in a meaningful manner. So we'll meet in the next class and we'll start with a new chapter. Till then, thank you.